the first step is going to be to create our tickets. I've already input the first ticket type, first installment. What I'm going to do now is click the cog wheel to open it up so that I can input a ticket description. Under ticket description, I'm going to say this is the first installment, and I want to indicate that they will receive an access code for the second payment. This is very important. You do not want to skip this step. This is going to we want this to show on the description on the event page. So we'll click show ticket description on event page, choose our sales channels, and after we do that we want to go in and choose our ticket start and end date. For the purposes of this tutorial it will run for one month. The first installment will be available to be purchased for a period of one month. After we do that we're going to take a look just to make sure that everything is in properly. We're not going to hide this ticket type. Keep that in mind. We will not hide this ticket type. Minimize the settings and we'll go back in and create the second installment. So we're going to click Paid Ticket. We're just going to create another ticket type. It's going to be called Second Installment. We're going to choose the quantity that is available. And we're going to indicate the price for the second installment and then click on the cog wheel to open it up to type our ticket description. So we'll say this is the second installment, you will receive an access code for the third and final payment. Again, we want to show the ticket description on the event page, so we will click that button. And after we've clicked that button, we're going to choose our sales channel. And here we're actually going to, again, select our ticket start date and end date. This ticket will begin selling the day that the other ticket stops selling. And I'll leave it open again for a period of one month. This will all be up to your discretion. You will decide how you want your installment to run. You can make that decision as to what's best for your event. Now we're going to hide this ticket type. And the reason is when a person goes in to purchase their first installment, they should not see the second installment available already. And we want to indicate that only one ticket is available for this purchase order. I'll tell you why. So now you can see that that's hidden. And we'll create the third installment. We're going to follow the same steps. The reason you want to indicate what I was saying earlier, only one available to be purchased for the installments, you don't want someone to give that code away and then people be able to come in and make a third installment and not have, have paid for the first two tickets. So that's very important. We're going to again open up the expand that information so we can type our ticket description and show the ticket description on the event page. You will again choose your sales channel and your ticket start and end date. Again, this ticket will begin selling, selling the day that the second ticket stops selling. So we'll put all of that information in and we're going to again hide the, this ticket type because we do not want it to be visible when people go in and purchase the first installment. Here's where we'll put in tickets allowed per order and that should be one. There should be one ticket. Well, or you will determine that. You can determine that. Once that's in, you're going to take a look at your information and make sure that everything reads the way you want it to. And when you go to view the event, preview the event, you'll see now the first installment is available. And it indicates to you that you will receive a code for the second installment. So we're just going back in and previewing the information. Now what we're going to do is go and actually create that access code. So you'll want to, you're going to, well right now we're just kind of reviewing, making sure everything looks the way we want it to look. And you're going to go to Manage. And when you click on Manage, you're going to actually go down to Discount Codes. And this is where you'll create your access code. You're going to click the drop down arrow and select Access. And you want to choose a unique code that will be kind of like your secret code. Type that in. And you will select two different codes, one for the second installment and one for the third installment. You will indicate that it can be used however many times you've determined. And you will create the beginning and end date for the, the effectiveness of that access code. And this should match the, the duration for your ticket sale for the second installment. Very, very simple. And then you're going to want to save that. 
click OK. And then go back in and create a second code for the third installment. Click your drop down arrow, select Access, create a different code from the first one. And this is for the third installment. Indicate the number of uses that it can be used for. And this, of course, is going to be based off of how many people have purchased your first installment. So you'll go, you can go in and tweak this as your event is live. Select the dates that it will be available to be utilized. And then go in and save it. Now you have two unique access codes. And you see when they start and when they end. And you can, again, you can tweak these as needed. So let's go back up and let's take a look at our view. And now you see enter promotional code. This is where they'll enter that promo code when they're making those second and third installments. And that is how you create installment payments on Eventbrite. It is so simple. You will, of course, tailor it to suit the needs of your event. If you have questions, Eventbrite has a phenomenal customer service team. They're available 24-7. And you, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You will actually go in and email that code to, to the attendees as needed. So Eventbrite's customer service number is on the next slide. Reach out to them if you need clarification or have any questions at all about this process. It is so straightforward. You can also email me at info at tishasbrown.com, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you.